Hello everyone, this is Quiversy, and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. Last time we toured around Jubilee City, got ourselves the Poketch, which is just a smartwatch, really. If I click on the clock, it flashes. Because why not just have the backlight be a toggle? I have to hold it to do that. It's kind of silly. Um, in addition scouted out the path to the north of us and got ourselves two new Pokemon. One on the route, one in the cave that is on the route that we can't go through. Um, specifically, because I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. I did try to do some remapping. I'm trying to get used to it now. Arvensis the Budu and Migraine the Psyduck. And this time we're going to make our way through Route 203. Hey, Quiver, tell me you got a little tougher. Me, Tiffany, to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, I'll demonstrate it to you. We're getting challenged straight away by old Squirrel Head. Pokemon Trainer Squirrel. Oh, and he's leading with a Starly, eh? Okay, okay. Well, I don't want Arvensis to fight a Starly. So we're just going to send out Strongbird. Okay, looks like he's leading with a quick attack. Fair enough, fair enough. I'm going to follow through with my own quick attack. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ah, trying to weaken me, are you? Well, it won't work. Don't get cocky, this isn't over yet. You know what, fair enough, fair enough. It may not be over yet, but uh, I'm pretty confident in my team's ability to take you down. All right, that's one dead bird. Our vents has gained a level. Learning water sport in the process. And Strongbird gains a level. And learned wing attack, a flying type move. Excellent. And he's about to send in his Piplup. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to use our Vences for this one. We got a type advantage here, and it's probably going to out-level us, but we should be okay. Unless it's learned Peck. It might have learned a flying type. Against my better judgment, I'm going to take the risk. Absorb! I actually outspeed this thing. That's a little surprising. I know Piplups aren't the fastest Mons in the world, but... I figured that it would be able to outspeed a Budu with a two-level advantage. Either way, it's Growling, which lowers my attack, but Absorb is a special move and is therefore not affected. Matter of fact, just to spite him and to also reduce the number of Absorbs I'm going to need, I'm going to use Growth. I should have done that from the start, to be fair. Man, Squirrel... Squirrel, my man, you're not very good at this. You could have probably had the ability to knock out my Budu had you started attacking. Granted, unless you had a flying type move, there's no way I was going to let it happen. I would have switched or something, but uh, you're literally just wasting your time. Pokemon's getting low on HP. Things could get tight here. Listen, you're aware that your Pokemon's getting low on HP. You... You could use a potion or something, but no, you're, you're just you're just done. And our Vences gets the full 126 XP. Good job! Almost leveled up twice. What just happened? I lost? Yeah, you just sent a penguin out to scream at me after I beat up your bird. Ah, what do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. Last time I'm ever going to lose. I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. First thing to do is take on the Orberg City Pokemon Gym. I'm going to tough it up for that. Totally. Oh, boy. Incorrig incorrigible little guy, isn't he? Oh, wrong button. Probably going to do like a... It's going to take a few parts for me to adjust to my control setups. I do apologize for that. I'm going to put Migraine in the lead. He needs some training now. I get my get up and go for my Pokemon. Here we go. Cricketot, Zubat. Ah, two Pokemon we have not encountered yet. I'm actually kind of surprised we haven't encountered Cricketot. I 
figured they'd be pretty common at nighttime. And I know they can spawn out here. Ah, well, I'm gonna send out Torchimp. Because Krikatot is a bug type Pokemon, just like Burmy. Oh, it's using Bide. Bide is a really dumb move. What happens if I use Taunt? Will that break Bide? Bide is a weird move because it basically means that they have, they build up energy for a couple of turns and unleash it after they're done. And all the damage that they take during the time they're storing that energy, it um, affects how much power it does. So it basically like takes all the damage that they, they accumulate over a couple of turns and throws it back at you twofold. At least I think it's twofold. Either way, if you don't attack them like I didn't there, nothing's gonna happen as you saw. And I guess that Bai does count as a regular attacking move, so Taunt does not negate it. I actually never knew that. Because I don't really use Bai. I think it's kind of a dumb move. There's way better moves that do the same sort of thing. With way less risk. Alright, switching up with a Zubit. Still sending in Migraine, of course. He's a duck. Classic Zubat. He is a poison flying type. I am going to use Chuck. Come on, Chuck. Ooh, supersonic. Yeah, that's right. They like using that. And Leech Life, which thankfully it is the early version of Leech Life. I believe it was Gen 7 where that move got buffed. But Leech Life is basically a physical absorb in this game. So... It's very weak, but it will heal him. Thankfully, it's doing so little damage, he's not really getting more than one or two hit points. And Super Sonic would be our first instance of actually getting hit with a status ailment. Luckily, it didn't go off. I grain grew to level five and learned Tail Whip, which is literally just another version of Leer. It lowers the opponent's defense. Ah, my Pokemon! Nine to six Poke Dollars for winning. Thank you. You know what? I didn't mean to come here, but we're here. Might as well do it. Chimchar is the chimp Pokemon. We never did see his uh, his uh, data from the Pokedex. It is very agile. Before going to sleep, it extinguishes the flame on its tail to prevent fires. How considerate of a Chimchar. And yeah, in the Pokedex, we can see some more information. So the info page is literally what we see whenever we catch a Pokemon. The size page shows us a comparison of how big it is compared to us. Or how heavy. Which I find hilarious, and I kind of miss them doing this. It's Cry. Oh, man, we can do a lot with this. Kind of peaks a little bit. That makes it loop. I'm not really hearing a difference there, but what if I add some... Uh, there we go. Reverb. Uh, filter. Ah, doesn't really work too well. Uh, and the last thing is the area, which it'll show you a map of it. Oh, and I guess... Oh, that's neat. I don't remember this, but yeah. There's morning, day, and night. So there's three different times of day where we can encounter Pokemon. Morning, day, and night. And you know, let's see if I can find another Pokemon to use this on. Um, we can also see Pokemon that we've encountered, but not actually caught. So you know what? I want to actually go straight to a specific Pokemon. Krikatop. So Krikatop. It'll highlight areas where it can show up. I'm not sure why there's like a second area that's highlighting separately from the rest. So we can see that all the routes we've been to so far, for the most part, we could catch it. But then if I move it down today, the morning and night, they're available, but not during the day. So Krikatot cannot be caught at daytime. That's kind of, that, that's what this is for. And it's kind of neat. I like that it does that. Anyways, yeah, I didn't actually mean to open up the Pokedex. I think I meant to run. I don't actually remember. I was in that menu so long, I forgot. We got a Pokeball. Good stuff. Hello. Your favorite Pokemon should be at the place top left of your party list. That way it'll be the first to go out in battle. 
Yes, that is indeed how it works. I'm never apart from my shinks. Our bond is strong. Ah, gonna be fighting me with a little shinks, are yes. Dallas? Ooh, it's a level eight shinks, too. A little bit higher level. Um, b -b 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 what do I want to do? I'll just go with Torchimp. I thought about using Arvensis, but I'm not going to chance that. Torchimp should be fine, though. Torchimp is fine. Burn it! You can stare at me all you want, Shinx. You are dying by fire. And is dead. So sad, so crushed. Okay, bye. Before I challenge the Pokemon Gym Leader, I'll test my strength on you! Probably a good idea, because you're probably going to get your butt handed to you. Yep, you only got one Pokemon. Ooh, but you've got a Machop. That's an interesting Pokemon to have. All right, well, Machop is a Fighting-type Pokemon. And Fighting-types just so happen to be weak to Flying. He's going to stare at me. But that's okay, because we have the power of wings! Super effective. Low Kick. So Low Kick is a fighting type move, which normally would be resisted by flying. But because Strongbird is flying normal, the normal part is actually weak to fighting, so it offsets it. Migraine grew to level 6. Strongbird got some more XP. And Sebastian's beat. I guess it means I'm not ready for the gym challenge yet. Dude, if you race up that Machop a little bit more and maybe add some more mons to your team, you'll be fine. Hello? I found a trainer while looking for some Pokemon. I, I haven't even searched this route for a new Pokemon yet, have I? <laughs> Last Caitlyn. It's a Bidoof! Alright, Migraine, time to actually use you in a battle. You know, Water Sport, Scratch, and Tail Whip. We're going to Scratch. I really want you to get an offensive Water-type move. That would be really nice. Especially since you are definitely more of a special attacker than a physical. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, Psyduck line is more defensive than offensive. I'm not 100% sure on that. Regardless, their special attack is still better than their physical, I'm pretty sure. But do you? All right, well, I'm going to keep my grain in just to get XP, but uh, I'm not about to get my life absorbed by this thing. So, Strongbird. Get in here. It's getting big. Let's give it a wing attack, because grass types are also weak to flying, just like fighting types. There we go. Next, we're getting a Starly. All right. Migraine. At level four, that's what I figured. Uh, let's have you fight it. Tackle. How much is that going to do? Three. I think Migraine can win this. Eight. Scratch. And it's dead. I wasn't sure if I was going to need another one or not. But now Migraine grows to level seven. Hooray! Abra. Interesting. I'm going to send in Chuck on this one. Abra. First instance of a psychic type. 
Oh, right. At this level, Abra only knows teleport. It's completely useless in combat. I mean, it does have a use. It is actually, it actually does something unlike Splash. But in a trainer battle, it literally does nothing. So, uh, yeah. Huh? You finished so soon? I mean, your last Pokemon was an Abra. Still, you got a nice lineup. I got a nifty keen gym badge for the gym leader in Orberg City. Last Madeline. Hey, a Psyduck. I've got one of those. Take a look. His name is Migraine. That being said, uh, he's going away now. Arvensis, get in here and fight this Psyduck. Grass beats water. That was a powerful scratch. Give me all your energy. I need some of that life force back. Thank goodness, like... Psyducks can actually learn some moves that would be dangerous for Arvensis here. But not at this level. Like, I'm pretty sure he would learn a Water-type move before he could learn anything else, and I won't need to be afraid from those. That being said, it scratches do more than my Absorb can heal, but not more than it can deal. So, the duck dies. Should be worth some good XP, too. Yep, our vents has just got a level. It's for me. Oh, I lost. La la la. La la la, indeed. La la la. Ooh. Okay, our encounter for this route is... Oh, no! I want it, but I'm probably not going to be able to get it. I'm gonna try though. I'm not, I know how Abras work. I'm not taking a chance. I'm just gonna throw Pokeball and pray. Dang it! And the reason I did that, the Wild Abra used Teleport. Wild Abra fled. No encounter for this route. Dang. Getting an Abra would have been nice. Uh, then again, I wouldn't have been able to evolve it all the way. Did find a repel. That's good. But yeah, Abra is unfortunately a Pokemon that, if I did catch it, requires trading to be able to evolve to its final form. And uh, yeah, kind of can't do that with this. So nothing I can really do there. Anyway, oh, didn't mean to use Water Sport. I was just, I was just mashing. Not like it would have mattered. I wouldn't have been able to kill that thing anyway. I need to head back and heal before I go into that cave. And who knows? Maybe I'll actually be able to catch something useful in the cave. Strongbird gained a level. Nice. Alrighty, we're all patched up and moving on to Orberg Gate. That spark on a new Pokech. Your awkwardness is a traveler. <sighs> You're still pretty new trainer, aren't you? But it's all good. You're a new fellow friend of Pokemon. So let me make a gift this hidden machine to you. HM06. Put HM06 in the TMs and HMs pockets. That hidden machine, or uh, HM for short, it takes a hidden move of Rock Smash. Pokemon learn Rock Smash to smash small boulders in the field. But the trainer has to have the gym badge from Orberg City. If you don't have that badge, you can't make a Pokemon use a hidden move Rock Smash outside of battle. Thanks, strange cavern hermit. I'm going to uh, look at that right now. Oop, uh, good to know that button exists. Uh, TMs and HMs. HM, Rock Smash. 
He usually slugs the foe with a shattering punch. He can also smash cracked boulders. So, as we were told by Professor Rowan, TMs are a single use that teach a Pokemon to move. HMs are the same, but with a couple of differences. First of all, they're not single use. They are infinite. Second of all, as the Cave Hermit explained, they can be used outside of battle. Third, they cannot be unlearned. If I teach this to one of our Pokemon, we cannot get rid of it until much later. That being said, Rock Smash is not a bad move. It is a fighting type move, as you can see, physical, with a power of 40, and it has a chance to reduce enemies' defense. All in all, not a fabulous move, but a good one. And honestly, I'm more than happy to teach that to Torchimp. He wants to learn to move Rock Smash. However, Torchimp already knows four moves. Should a move be deleted and replaced with Rock Smash? Yes. So, in addition to this, all Pokemon can only learn up to four moves. Once they are about to learn a fifth, you need to delete one and make room for more. Rock Smash has the same power as Scratch, but it is a fighting type move. Actually, no. I never use Leer. I'm going to get rid of Leer because Rock Smash can already lower defense and I can deal damage in the process. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to get rid of Leer for Rock Smash. So now, I'll be able to break through those rocks once I get the Orberg City's Gym Badge. Wow, first encounter of this cave and it's a repeat. Okay. I'm gonna go fight a duck and uh, hopefully find something better. Well, let's uh, move this way. We trainers will accept challenges anywhere. It's what we do. The way you say that makes it sound almost like a cult. Camper Curtis sends out a Starly. You're going to be seeing a lot of Starly in the early game. Uh, let's see how Migraine handles it. Not surprised. It's faster. Tiny Bird will be faster than Chunky Duck. Ooh, that's not good damage, though. All right. Now, we're uh, we're going to switch. We're going to switch over to Torchimp. Haha, you missed. And now I'm going to burn you. More ember, and this bird is roasted. What is next? I'm gonna guess a Badoo. Still no new moves for migraine, unfortunately. Shinx! Okay, that was not what I was guessing. Well, definitely don't want to keep migraine in for this one, because Shinx is an electric type. And if it has an electric type move, that would spell death for poor Migraine. Uh, Torchimp did take some damage. I'm gonna try Arvensis. In this one, I'm actually a little bit worried, but we'll see what happens. Okay. I'm gonna lead with a growth. How the heck are you faster than this Shinx? All right, I'm just going to go straight into the absorbs now. Absorb! All right, two more of those will kill it. Huh? <gasps> that was a crit. That's the only reason I'm doing this, because that was a crit. If that was non-crit... Oh, no. Arvensis? Strongbird, get in here! I do not want to lose Arvensis. Jeez, another crit! Wait, no, don't use attack. Uh, quick, quick attack. I, I'm not taking chances here. Quick attack. Kill it. Is dead. No, 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 not insufficiently raised. That was... 
I need to go. Okay, back in the cave. Let's move on to the next trainer. To celebrate my getting through this cave, I'm going to battle you. I mean, it's not a very long cave. Picnicker Diana with a beetoof. That is nine levels of chunky beaver. Okay. Uh, I want to use you. Strong bird. Defense curl. That is a defense raising move and I am not happy about it. So I'm gonna use wing attack. Even though that's also physical, so it's not that there's no difference to whether I did that or wing attack really. Actually, how much power does wing attack have? I forget. 60, never mind. That is actually a much stronger move. Way more power than tackle and quick attack, that's for sure. Although with him raising his defense and lowering my attack, I'm probably gonna need another, yeah, I need one more. Possibly two, depending on how much of a difference that defense curl makes. Kill it! Not quite. Oh well. Now we kill it. Kill the oof! And now you get a crit. Another fun detail about crits, by the way, unless I'm mistaken, they ignore any negative, Im negatively impacted stats. Which is to say, if you score a crit, your attack and the your attack drops and your opponent's defense ups are ignored. And the same goes on the other direction too. So, yeah, that would have been nice. Anyways, I still need an encounter for this cave, and I am not, not finding anything but ducks. Don't get me wrong, I'm okay to, to, to take out a few ducks here and there, but I wouldn't mind something other than a duck. I guess while I'm on the hunt, I, uh, there's nothing there. Nothing there! Alright, fine. I'll just check for one more encounter. Come on. All right, let's see what I get. Come on. It's a Zubit. Okay. That's more or less what I was expecting. Not a bad Pokemon. Uh-oh. Supersonic. We are now confused. Confusion is a status ailment that has a chance on your turn to, instead of do what you're trying to do, smack yourself in the face. Migraine is currently fighting through the confusion quite well. I'll give it one more scratch before I throw a ball. The good news about confusion, though, is that unlike most status ailments, it runs out on its own. As you saw, I snapped out of confusion right there. In addition, also unlike most status ailments, it does not stick when you switch your Pokemon out. Similar to stat changes, confusion runs off as soon as you switch. Anyways, I caught a bat. Zubat's data was added to the Pokedex. And he's got no footprint, which I find hilarious. Zubat, the bat Pokemon. It is poison flying type, as I'm pretty sure I've mentioned before. It checks its surroundings and location using reflections of the ultrasonic waves from its mouth. Hmm. What to name our lady bat? Camilla. Has a nice vampirous ring to it. Anyways, welcome to Orberg City, the city of energy. Hello, small child. Howdy, trainer. Huh? Uh oh, you don't have a single gym badge? You better do something about that. I'll take you to the Pokemon gym. I could have found it on my own, thanks. I don't need the hand holding. Huh? Oh, there's someone here. Yes, thank you. I, I'm going away now. I'm going to barge into a random person's house and, and talk to them. Hello. You know how Pokemon have different natures? We have, Like, we have personalities? I don't think it's surprising to see Pokemon in different colors. Have you ever seen or heard about differently colored Pokemon? For instance, a regular Pikachu has a yellow body, correct? Well, a different colored Pikachu has a sort of orange body. 
yeah, he is talking about a phenomenon called shiny Pokemon, which I will consider it to be very blessed if I come across in this game. Good evening, is everyone raising Pokemon? It's time for the Battling Trainers! On Battling Trainers, we're always on the hunt for news. Our interviewers have scattered throughout Sinnoh. We look forward to hearing about you, trainers. That's all the time we have today. Goodbye and good battling. Looks like we haven't hit the airwaves yet. There we go. Having a hard time going through there. These vents exchange the hot air down below with the fresh air outside. Looking down, that gives me urge to start yelling into them. Hello! It's an air vent that exchanges the underground tunnel's air. Hello! I don't think anyone would have heard me. I'm just gonna look through a few of these buildings while we're here. There are eight gym leaders in the Sinnoh region. The objective of trainers is to get gym badges from them all. That means you have to defeat all of them in their battles at their gyms. Ugh. Kind of stumbled on my words there. Rourke lets us train our Pokemon in the mine. Rourke. I believe that is the name of the gym leader. A gym leader isn't just like any other trainer you meet. Obviously, they're a lot tougher. A lot. I'd take as many Pokemon as possible if I were you. Well, it just so happens I have six, and that's all I can hold at a time. Are you catching Pokemon? Here, take this if you'd like. A Dusk Ball? Dang, I wish I had that when I found the Abra earlier. A Dusk Ball is a fantastic Pokeball. Wrong button. Dusk Ball is a fantastic Pokeball. It is easily one of the best and still is to this day. A somewhat different Pokeball that makes it easier to catch wild Pokemon at night or in dark places like caves. Unless I am mistaken, it is literally four times more likely to catch than a standard Pokeball is. So that's a fantastic gift. But he named our side like yellow just because of its color? I don't understand the logic behind that at all. Giving nicknames to Pokemons is the way to go. It makes you feel as if they're of your very own. I agree. And lady, thank you for making me feel better about the unoriginal name I've given. Jack? He doesn't know what's going on. He's just a duck with a headache. Oh, man. All right. I'm going to look around the rest of this town uh, next time, I think. For now, Pokemon Center. That's what I want. I'm going to heal up our mons. Yes, please. With our new full team of six. And next time on Pokemon Platinum, we're going to take a look around town and maybe challenge the gym leader. I'm not going to go and fight him until I'm sure I'm ready, though. I definitely want to train up Migraine on our fences some more. I feel like they're going to be essential. But we'll see how I feel on that. Either way, until then, thank y'all so much for watching. Goodbye.